So, Kev, uh, it's not disappointing for you to break house. Uh, it was going to be difficult, obviously, going two goals down within half an hour. Uh, what do you think of the response? Um, for 10 15 minutes, we got a bit of a response other than that. We were, were poor all day, and I think I've got to start by the supporters that have travelled down here apologising to them. They've, they've took four, five, six hours out a day of the day to come do and follow the team, and putting in a performance like that is just not good enough. Um, you know, yourself, we've just come out there now. We've, we've had a, a good open and honest conversation in there for good 40 minutes or so. Um, hopefully, we've, we've um, ironed a lot of things out. I didn't want to start talking about injuries and seven players missing and nine players including the long-term injuries. It's about the, the lads that's, that's out there on, on, on the pitch today um, and from, from me as management team to the coaches and the, and, the, and the players on the pitch. We didn't represent the badge in the club in the way we should have done. A few positives. You mentioned obviously the, the absentees, but I guess like the Lee Murray first had him start off the cure and back and go. Uh, Lewis Rutherford coming off the bench, but... David Allison obviously getting his chance off the bench at half time, obviously getting a full second half and gr gr grasping his chance really within the first five minutes of his uh, introduction with a, with a nice one on one effort. Um, listen, I think I think one of the what if you can take any pluses away from the day, it was the it was the younger lads. I thought Kieran Hunter and goal was excellent. Really good. Um you know, the second goal he's made he's made two he's made two point blank saves and we still kinda of help him out and and clear our lines. So Kieran, I thought Kieran and Cole had a, had a great game. Um, I thought the pitch, <coughs> the pitch didn't suit, suit young Liam, and he couldn't really get himself going. But it was more of a tactical one with, with Liam at half time because we just wanted to put a little bit more pace up the top end of the pitch um, to go in behind them because they were defending quite high. And obviously David got his goal by going in behind and bringing them back into the game. Um, and then the other youngster, young Dylan Archer, he just keeps churning out performances and doing really, really well for her. Um, and he, but, you know, you keep forgetting that Dylan's 17, he's, he plays like a seasoned pro. Um, so I, the three, the three young youngsters, and, and then obviously the, the young one who's come on at, at, off t at last 15 minutes, young Lewis, has come on and done really well. And, and again, he's he's 16 year old. The future, you know, long term future of the club, there's some good, good young players in the club. But, and we've got to manage that the right way, and we've got to manage that with the, the under-23s and, and find a formula where we call upon them that, that we can that we can get them. But obviously the league that they play in makes that difficult because of the 28-day rule. So it's something that we probably need to address as a club um, from for, for long-term development of the players. Um, but going back to the day's game, there's no deflection from it. Um, an absolutely shocking performance. Um, one that I didn't see coming because I know lately, even though we've been on the back of a poor run, I don't think we've been playing too badly and we've, we've probably felt sorry for ourselves lately with regards to the chances we've missed. Um, but we were second best all over the pitch today in all areas of the pitch, all departments, and got exactly what we deserved, which was an out. Yeah, you mentioned obviously not winning the game in February, but obviously first game in March is against Lincoln United away, uh, obviously a 2 one win against them a few months back. Mm -hmm. Base of a 3-1 win, 3-1 uh, loss sorry today against Tadcaster Albion, so mm -hmm. uh, both teams not in the best run of form, uh, you must be looking to bounce back. Listen, we need a reaction, um, we, 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 we hope we've got a, a couple of the injured players back, we know we haven't got the suspended players back, it's injuries and suspensions are absolutely killing us at this minute in time, but I keep saying, listen, I try not to use that as an excuse because it's a squad game, um, but we'll have to see what we've got. We'll, we'll train Tuesday, train Thursday, but yeah, next next Saturday is an absolutely massive game. A lot of people can think, you know, we, we, we're still, you know, a good gap between us and the bottom three and stuff. That's that's not my management style. Um, I can sit here and talk about, or stand here and talk about, you know, what we've done last season as a football club and everything, but nah, on to the next one for me. And, and I want a group of lads who, who want that as well. And I'm sure the club want that, um, and we want to kick on again. And we've got to find the formula and the and the players and the and the and the basically that everyone's just got to come together of these last nine games of the season and um, and see it out properly.